is HIV and AIDS that way. Well, HIV is a very common disease transport to me in the system. It means the virus that exists in a human body and goes to a human body to get to certain places. But as you can imagine, it's so difficult to produce uh, an immunity in the body to denounce that immunity and get a control or infect the system of the other six or maybe for the things that we do, but if there is an exceptional condition to get to combat the thing and get to a certain place where it's more manifesting to the body. How do I know that I have HIV? Well, a simple and very good answer that any other healthcare worker can go for a simple quick check where they take a bit of blood from your fingertips and they give you a blood within a few minutes. That is very simple, very easy, and it's no longer a scary process, and we would like people to take up those steps as soon as they can. So, I have brush all over my body. Do I have HIV and AIDS? Not or do I have AIDS or do I have HIV? Not necessarily. We only have HIV once the test is positive. We only have AIDS once you identify certain medical diseases in your body that are what we call AIDS finding. But previously, we didn't need to use something called a CD4 count to define whether the person is in the AIDS stage or not. So, if I hear you well, you are saying there is no other way to know Absolutely. that you have HIV but to test. Absolutely. It is free, readily available, very quick in the process. Touch for us, Doctor, on the statistics. Um, if you can touch for us on the global statistics, touch for us on the national as well as the provincial statistics and gender. Well, I would like to start maybe from local statistics and make up, because internationally, HIV is not as much of a problem as it is in South Africa or in the sub Saharan region. And we know that in South Africa alone, especially in the high exposure area, HIV exists in about 17 to 18 percent of patients who are living with the disease. Mm -hmm. And that's only the ones that we know. Mm -hmm. We know that in sub Saharan Africa, in some countries, there are pockets of communities with even higher statistics, over 20 percent of people living with the disease. So it is a problem. Internationally, unfortunately, HIV that is worse in sub Saharan Africa. In other countries, it's not as much of a problem because one, we started doing something about it quite early. We started doing something about the awareness quite early, and the treatment was readily available quite early. But in most of the sub Saharan Africa, in most poorest countries, uh, the problem is quite visible because we are catching up to what the world has already started to do. Um.